In this calming watercolor tutorial, we'll be creating a wonderful floral corner piece. We'll be practicing brush, water and paint control. Layering is another technique that we will be practicing today. Creating this piece of art is a great exercise to let go of failure and perfection, since leaves and flowers come in all kinds of shapes, sizes and colors. So sit down, take your time and have fun! For this painting you'll need a rectangle shaped piece of paper and two brushes. A round size 8 and a round size 0 brush. To give the painting a nice and clean look you can cover the edges with masking tape. Now you can use any colors you like for these paintings. But I'll be using Naples Yellow, Yellow Ochre for the flowers, and olive green and deep set green for the leaves, and then potter's pink for the berries. The mixes of my paints vary. I used half water, half paint for the big leaves and flowers, and darker mixes for the berries and the small dark leaves. Start painting the petals of your first flower by applying wet Naples yellow paint on your dry paper. Apply light pressure to your brush on top of the petal and then at the end of the petal apply more pressure to make the petals broader on the bottom. I painted 4 to 5 petals per flower. The top of every petal is pointing to the center of the flower. I add the stamen with yellow ochre when the petals of my flowers are still wet so the darker yellow color nicely bleeds into the lighter yellow color. Gently touch the paper with the tip of your brush. Repeat these steps for the next flowers you paint. Now try to mirror the placement of the flowers to give the painting a symmetrical appearance. So if you paint a flower on the right side, make sure to paint another one on the left side. Please don't worry if your yellow ochre paint bleeds too much into the lighter wash. You can just pick up some of the yellow ochre paint with a dry brush or a paper towel. While the flowers are drying, we'll start painting the big leaves with our olive green paint and size 8 brush. Start painting a leaf by gently touching the paper with your brush on top of the leaf. Apply more pressure to your brush in the middle of the leaf and relieve pressure again toward the end of the leaf. Paint leaves of different sizes in between some of the petals of your flowers and on the sides of your painting all the way to the bottom of the paper. Now, if you want to create variety in the colors of the leaves, you can drop ochre yellow paint or deep set green in some of the leaves. But feel free to skip this or any other step of this video. It's your piece of art and you are in control. And here we are again! You created a wonderful piece of art! I hope you feel as relaxed as I do now, that you enjoyed your creative me time. Thank you for taking the time to paint with me today.